Um, in the meantime, we'll talk about another book. Um, Silver Surfer hit a milestone this week, which I think was the 200th issue when you just add up the numbers. Um, Marvel have a fun way of deciding when they hit milestones. I think they just make up as they go along sometimes, but <laughs> occasionally they'll count miniseries or they'll just look at ongoing or they'll just they'll make it work. They'll budge it somehow. <laughs> and apparently this is the 200th uh, issue milestone, so... Dan Slott and Mike Allred's series has been going on for quite a while now. It was pre-Secret Wars as well, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't really know what the hell is going on in it. So have either of you been reading this book? Um, yeah, but I also don't know what the hell is going on in it. <laughs> for, a, for a 200th issue, it's just like business as usual with an extra eight pages. It was... Yeah, it was... I mean, there's a change of tone at the end. It's pushing them back into space rather than being focused on Earth, which they have been since Secret Wars because the question has been what the hell happened at the end of that right? and why is everything like it is now? Right. And there's been a lot of things to do with Celestials and being outside the universe looking in and all these, all these different angles they've explored, which eventually brought them back to Earth and then started exploring Dawn's background. But... It seems really confusing that they continued that in this special event, really. Yeah. It was a really strange angle to take. And the the story even around um Norrin was just weak. There was a crossover with Spider Man and it was I don't know what quite what happened. Yeah, I mean normally with an anniversary issue you kinda of pull back, you do something self contained where possible. Um, and you really focus on what makes that character special, and mm. this wasn't really like that at all. It it, it was more uh, focusing on his whoever this sidekick is. He's he's managed <laughs> to obtain, and then Spider Man, Dan Slott just yeah. can't help himself when it comes to Spider Man. Um, it, re- it was a bit. We didn't get much of Norinrad. Um, what makes him who he is. Um, he ha- he has one kind of sacrificial moment that isn't really a sacrifice, um, as he uh, you know saves the day ultimately. But I don't know. I mean, they... all it says is that he's overly attached to Dawn and he needs to chill out a bit and come off the gas. <laughs> I mean, that it's really weird. He's got a job to do and he's not doing it because he's too busy gallivanting around. Yeah. It's yeah, it was a really strange issue. I was expecting more for a two hundred. What did you it make? It didn't feel it? celebrate like it didn't celebrate what a character was, That's which is point. the only reason when you guys was like, uh, oh, Silver Surfer, I was like, uh, do I want to read it? And then I was like, oh, it's a two hundred issue, and like I am familiar with Silver Surfer to some degree. Obviously, I've read a few comics back into date with him in, um, and obviously the cartoon series with Silver Surfer so that's like basic knowledge of Silver Surfer um, but yeah just I, I read it and I was like well that was a thing yeah I mean cool if you're into it I guess but obviously Alex has said he's in, he's reading it and he didn't know what was going on and I was like I was a, I was a bit let down like, I was expecting something to be like ah maybe I'll continue reading I'm, I'm not I'm not going to continue reading it yeah um when I heard that this was an anniversary, it made me think of a, a mini series that um, I really love called Silver Surfer Requiem, and it's it's by Joe Strasinski, um, JMS, who was the Babylon Five guy, and then wrote Thor, and it's I think it's six parts, and the art's by Eastside Ribic, who did Secret Wars, um, and it explores the character's sort of final days. He's he's fatally ill. And he has to choose what he's going to do with his last days in the universe. And he kind of explores all the different elements of the character. And it's absolutely amazing. Um, And it shows why the character is so great. And we kind of got the opposite of that. Um, It wasn't about him. It was about everything else. Like other other weird stuff. It was more about this Dawn's mum than him. Mm -hmm. Um, It was just... Yeah, quite quite disappointing. But then I haven't been reading it recently, so and I'm not. It's not like it's spoiling something that I've been reading for ages or anything like that. But I don't know. It's just a shame. 
it could have been an opportunity to get more people reading Silver Surfer. Mm, um, yeah. And I don't think this is the kind of book that will do that. Uh, that's all we're reviewing this week. Because it's been a fairly light week. I think it's because every now and then you get like a five week month and both publishers have to have a dodgy week. And they decided to have a dodgy week at the same time. And I think if I worked in a comic book shop, I'd have had the day off on Wednesday. 